Um, it's good because it um, allows us to be aggressive, um, but also know we got guys that are going to uh, have our backs if if we do, uh, you know, end up in a mix up or uh, end up getting beat or something like that. So um, I love it, and and the fact that we got big guys in there that can you know kind of goaltin as you would say, um, and and not let it at least be easy for 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 guys to drive in there. Um, it allows you to you know feel safe, but also you know handle your own. Um, in the, you know, whatever it is with the scout and stuff like that to be able to lock down and, and, and defend. Um, they're a ta very talented team, very talented team. We know they're really experienced. They got a lot of guys like me who have extra years to play. Um, they got some really good bigs that can shoot. Um, so we're going to, you know, execute the game plan like we always will um, and, and try to make it tougher, you know, their, their best scores and stuff like that to get uh, comfortable touches and, and comfortable shots. Um, but I believe in, you know, the coaches, the coaching staff, all of them. They do a great job on um, preparing us, um, and I think it'll be good. Um, you just got to be ready. You know, you're, when you're putting, putting, you know, either uncomfortable or not used to positions, you know, you got to do what's best for the team. Um, I've never been a guy to, you know, slouch or, or you know. I, I know for a fact, as you guys have seen, I've started all my life. So it's something that doesn't really define me. Um, and like I said, I believe in our coaching staff and um, they were, you know, well, I was mature enough to be able to have those conversations and, um, you know, I'm going to do what needs to be done for the team. It doesn't matter what I want. It doesn't matter what, um, you know, what it looks like and, and it looks better to start this and that, man. I'm going to do what's uh, best for the team to win and uh, bring that energy um, right off the bench um, and do what I can. So that's that's kind of how I've, I've done it. And that just shows um, I've been that guy who has been upset if I don't start and stuff like that. I've been that guy in the past and um, it just it makes me happy to, to see that growth in myself. You know, it's very different. You know, I've had uh, coaches in the past, um, absolutely great coaches. I've had two great co head coaches in college with Dave Paulson and Tom Crean. Um, but their, their demeanor is a little different. You know, they're more, you know, excited. Um, more more loud you know uh and and th that's fine that's the way they coach and and it's an unbelievable um two unbelievable um you know role models for me that i could always you know talk talk to and have good conversations with but um coach lloyd is uh he's a lot more calm um a lot more under uh he doesn't you know kind of let your head go you know every which way um, he allows, he talks to you in a calm way and he believes in you and, um, you know, as long as you got his trust and, and you, you know, I would say build in and, and ingrain what he wants to do with this team, um, you know, he, he's, he's going to help you without, you know, outside of basketball. Um, I, I feel like he'll be a friend for life. I'm a, a guy that I can uh, talk to anytime about anything and he'll always be there. And I've only been here for a year and will be here for a year. So um, it's a pleasure to be able to play with him. I wish I had more years um, with him because um, he's made me a better player um, since the summer, since I came in. He's made me a better individual. Um, and he just continues to impress me with the things that he can help me do. Like I've, uh, we talked about the other day, I haven't been in this many ball screens in my entire college career. Um, not that I couldn't, but just, you know, the situations I was in, it wasn't my role to do that. So, um, and I've gotten better at that as well. So he's just helped me out so much. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, I, I've always expected to play. Um, I feel like I've done that most of my career, but yeah, you never know, especially with my position coming in. Um, the recruiting was a little different. It was like kind of, you know, right away, what's your role, this and this and this. So, um, yeah, I mean, I knew they needed a guy, older guy, to come in and help lead and 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 do the um, older guy stuff. So with that comes minutes, you know. So um, and then from there on, it was about the work I put in and what I show in practice and and what I lock in on to uh, get the coaches trust. And I think I've done that pretty well. Um, so I think it just comes with it came with how I uh, reacted to everything, you know, coming in and um, you know hopefully I can continue to you know, be that guy that they want on the floor. Absolutely. Everybody's invested. You know, everybody's invested and locked in. Um, and I love the way the guys, you know, kind of encourage each other. You know, even when guys get subbed out and stuff like that, it's always encouraging. 
Um, we haven't had any, you know, bad uh, body language about stuff like that. So um, it's always been good, and I think that comes with trust as well. I think we've all seen each other get better and, and lock in, and um, that trust comes with they, they you know, they, they're not second guessing who's in the game and if we're going to be okay. Like they're 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 ready to go, and they you know they trust us as well. So I think it's like the trust in, in the whole entire program, um, and it's great. It's different. It's definitely different. Um, I miss the East Coast a little bit, but um, I've always been a guy to adjust to things. You know, people were scared that I was going to be lonely out here, especially family and stuff like that. But um, I'm pretty good at adjusting, I'm pretty good at knowing people and getting involved um, in the community and stuff like that. So um, it's been good. I, I, I love the West Coast. Like, it's definitely a place that I want to come back to, especially Tucson. I'll always be able to come back and enjoy, you know, these fans and this program in the in the city. But, um, yeah, it's been great. I, I definitely missed the East Coast a little bit, but it's, it was, it's been great to get out here and just, you know, feel something different.